you get to use a lot of your comedy chops because I know a lot of people really know you from Daredevil, which is not yes. so much a comedy. <laughs> No, it wasn't really a comedy. Um, it was it was a tough uh, show to be on. It was so much fun to be on, but it was a very dark character arc for everybody that was involved, especially with um, the Nadim household. And so I remember there were certain days that I would just come home and just cry myself to sleep because it was just so tough shooting on... Yeah, it really was. It was a lot. I would just kind of have a little bit of a whiskey and then go to sleep. But... Um, so let's talk about... Because Daredevil is coming or is now on Disney+. Yeah. Plus. Which is yesterday, so exciting. Yesterday, I got yesterday. my my little update of like, would you like mature content? And I'm like, oh, it's happening, which is kind of funny. I was like, that uh, the whole Netflix family is mature content versus what <laughs> the MCU is. So I was like, okay, they're still fighting. Um, for, I love like your character of Seema doesn't exist in the comic book. So she was someone that you got to like introduce in the world of Marvel. That's like a world of canon and a world of tons of backstory and things to go on. What was that like for you, kind of being able to make your own way in this crazy Marvel scape? It was such a surprise from beginning to end. I originally had gone into the audition for a role that is known as a date player. It means that you're going to go in for one scene and that's it. And the role that I had gone in for was she was talking about... Um, how Daredevil had shown up out of nowhere and saved her and her father. I'm very close with my real father in real life. So it has it wasn't a hard scene to act. It was so well written. And then Julie Schubert, who was the casting director, said, I'm really surprised you haven't been sent in for this role, which was two to three roles uh, to uh, was recurring. And uh, she said, why, why haven't you been sent in for this? I think you'd be great for it. It's the role of Seema Nadim, the wife of J. Ali, Ray Nadim. Can you speak Hindi? And I said, no, because I can't. <laughs> Every actor has yelled at me since then. You lie, you lie. Um, but I said, I can have my father work with me tonight and we can learn the lines. And so Julie had me come in the next day and read for Seema Nadim. And the thing that I noticed the most from the get-go for her role was that she was very grounded and non-stereotypical, which I loved. There was no accent requirement. The relationship between her and her husband was very familiar to what I know. And uh, it just felt very real and authentic. And I found out later from Eric Olson that he had actually based this character on someone he had actually known um, oh, wow. in his neighborhood, which is what I absolutely loved. And I met Jay Ali on the first day at the table read. And he was just so wonderful to work with too. Um, and he really just brought that character to life. And I was so excited to go along the ride with it. And I'll never forget on set, it was either on episode two or three, um, someone came up to me and they said, and I remember it was so quick. They said, hello, Sunita, I'm from Marvel. You guys are stunning together. You're doing a great job. If you don't mind, would you like us to write you into more episodes or something along that line? And I was like, yes. So That's it actually amazing. turned into eight wonderful episodes. And what a wonderful journey that was. That's amazing. Now, I know your character is still floating around in the Daredevil universe. So we know you got that to stay you, alive. <laughs> yeah, you stayed alive. And we do know that Matt is floating around. Um, he popped up in uh, the new Spider Man No Way Home movie. So who knows what could happen? Would you want to come back as your character if the opportunity arose? I would absolutely love to come back. I have said this before, there'd be a couple of rules for Seema. I would be very excited for her to have a very high-end wardrobe. I would like to see <laughs> her, <laughs> I would like to see her taking care of herself. Um, it was so well-written in the sense that every mother will do anything for their child. And so that was something that I was very aware of. But at the same time, I was like, you know, Seema could really, after this whole pool incident and having to find her husband in the way she did, I would really like for her to just be able to go to a spa and relax and then also maybe show up dressed up to the nines because she is a strong tigress of a character and she would definitely want to get revenge for what happened to her husband. Absolutely. I'm, I'm ready. Like you hear that Marvel? We want it. We see it. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, and it was really surprising actually after Matt showed up again, I was so shocked and happily so by how many insanely wonderful fans reached out on Instagram and DMs and everything 
um, just about because it, it was a big it was a big excitement to for Matt to show back up in the universe and for people to go back and re binge Daredevil. So that was really nice. Oh,